wacky contestants, messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy that puts the fun in Funhouse, Pat Sharp! We've got that weekend feeling and we're really ready to go. Now, my fun ex today, old Melanie and Martina, said, if we do well, will you buy us a present? Will you buy us something with diamonds in it? I said, yes, and I've got them a pack of cards each, so I hope they do well. Here's the fun house! <laughs> Bring on those players. Meet the teams today. Yeah. Now we thought we'd start with the yellows. Who have we got? Marty. OK, I have Catherine and Drew. They come from Paul and they both attend the Henry Harbin Secondary School. Oh, yeah. Right. And Ooh. Sister Mel has those reds as always. Who are they today? I have Stephanie and Michael and they're from York and they attend the All Saints Comprehensive School. Diamond! Yeah. Woo. All right. I don't know why. I don't know why old Martina and Melanie look like deck chairs today, but uh, if you give them 10p, <laughs> they might turn up on the beach in the summer. OK, first of all, it's Catherine Jenner. You're from Poole, and, um, and your nicknames are Smiley Wiley and Philly. Yes. OK, well, it's good to have you on here. Drew McGregor, also from Poole, nicknamed Titch. Yeah. Hey, yeah, now, <laughs> how you doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. You're growing stature during this show. What's your ambition? Uh, I like to play for a football team. Which one? Uh, Man United. Right, OK. Well, wish you luck with that one. The funniest thing? Anything good happened to you? Um, when I was uh, a young baby, I swallowed a coin and my grandpa picked me up and shook me by my legs and my coin fell out. Oh, that's a good way to get some pocket money, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Nice to see you here. To the Reds we go. And a big hi to Michael O'Shaughnessy. Anything good happened? You want to be a footballer as well? Yeah. Which team? Liverpool. So we're looking at two stars of the future here. That's fantastic. Um, any good things happen to you? Oh, dear, this is an interesting one. Go on, tell us. Um, well, I told this kid um, I was playing um, fun fight with him, and I closed my eyes, and I told him to punch me there. And, he, and um, when I had my eyes closed, he punched me on the mouth. How old was he? Um, only about five. But it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wait till you run through that fun house. You're in for real trouble today. You're with Stephanie, whose favourite subject at school is? Art. Art. Now, why is that? Mm. Well, I don't like the teacher, but I just like getting messed up. <laughs> you like getting messy? Ah, yeah. now we have something for you today. Oh, oh yes, as always. Your nickname is, is your nickname is Titch as well? Yeah, I don't know how I got it, though. Sorry? I don't know how I got it. No, I don't know, because you're <laughs> bigger than he is, and yet you're a Titch, OK? And you want to be a professional show jumper? Yeah, I, I just like show jumper. Oh, uh, right, well, I hope you get professional, because then you can make some money. <laughs> What's the funniest thing that's ever happened to you, Stephanie? When I was little, my sister carried me down the stairs and missed the last three steps, and she landed on top of me. Really? <laughs> oh, I should have been your stepsister then, shouldn't it? Good luck to all our players. <laughs> so, Paul against York, this is how we play TV's fastest moving game show on a Friday afternoon, getting ready for the weekend. There are three fun filled games, each one worth 25 points to the winning team. After each game, we bring you guys back here. We ask you a question which your uh, little mascots cannot help you with, okay? It's up to you to answer the question. They're worth 25 points each. Then it's the Fun Cart Grand Prix. That's three laps. Then the team with the most points into that fun house, picking up on the prizes and maybe the big power prize as well. But first of all, a game for everybody. Down on the farm. Ooh, arr, come on! Yeah! You've got to whack me old hat on for starters here and be a, be a farmer jail. So we choose my accent here because he ain't very good, really, is it? <laughs> so I'll go back to my normal voice. Now, these piggy porkers in here are real peckish and they're real gungy and, and messy. Look. <laughs> Girls, be quiet. <laughs> Sorry about those funettes, you know what they're like. OK, so it's your job, basically, to keep these, these little pigs a you know, little bit happier. They're very hungry, so I suggest you whack them over your head without looking, quick as you can, to your partner will be over there with her hat on, and she will have to catch them inside these. Now, if you thought that was mucky, you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out Le Pig Swill Delight. Do you know, I'm really pleased I don't no, go to school anymore. I think that was my last dinner. Right, we'll see how we get on. You've got one minute to get as many pigs inside the swill. Have a swell time. Go! Go! Come on!
They say that pigs can't fly, but I think we've just disproven that point, don't you? I love the way everybody gets out of the way when I turn up here. They go, he's going to pour it on our head. I know he is. And they'd be right! No. no I wouldn't. How many have we got, yellows? Oh, we've I love got... this. This is beautiful. One, two, two, three, four, five, six! All right, six yeah! out for the yellows. <laughs> now, Farmer Mel, we need seven or more. What's the news? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven! The Reds have done it! Let's rejig the pigs! Yeah! Good for a giggle, great for a grin, and worth 25 points for Melanie's Reds! Yeah! So that puts those Reds in the lead and Paul in the deep end at the moment. Maybe you can catch up in a second. So here's the question just for the boys. Make your way, stand by to press those buzzers. Pigs might fly is what we played. What do we call the houses in which a farmer keeps his pigs? Pig sty. Sty is good for me, you've got it! 25 points, therefore we're now level pegging. 25 apiece! Yeah! All right, Friday afternoon at my local zoo is always chimps tea party. This time, it's the chumps tea party. Come on, guys! Now, look, you always want a bit of toast for your tea, don't you? Well, this is toast with a difference. You whack it in a toaster, then when it's ready, you think, come on, come on, come on, come on. But you have to ring a bell here because, bing, that's how it comes out. Key game. I'll say no more for the second, except the runners-up will be getting points. What for, I hear you ask? Well, if you have a look in here, you'll see guns. That, that looks like peanut butter to me. Yeah. And this looks like, oh, this is, this is lemon curd. I think what we'll do is mix them up in a certain way, because when we go over here and ring the bell for the toast, it just appears. Ah! That is brilliant. So all you have to do is whack it on here, whack a bit of peanut butter, you got jam, slap it on, then ask for another one, ding a ling a ling, over it'll come, whack it on and so on and so forth. I'll take this, I'll give this one back because it's not quite done, do that more, and we'll give you 45 seconds. It is the key game. Runners up gets points. Wish you luck, let's go! <laughs> Things going on. Thank you. No, it never works for me. It's just a trouble. I organise my. You're right. What are you doing, Teach? Okay. I think we'll just count up the yellow ones first. Here is that complete? Yes. yes. Delicious. Okay, we've got one. Yeah. Two. Mm. Three. Mm. Four. Mm. Five. Mm. Six. Mm. Seven. Mm. Eight. Yeah. Okay. So we need eight or more for those hot rocking reds to go into the lead. Mel. We have one, two, oh. three, four, <laughs> five. Six, seven. Oh, not bad. You'll get yourself seven points because it's a key game, but the yellows get 25. Rerun the fun. <laughs> it was so good we had to see it again. Sticky stuff as well, and it was a key game, so seven points to the reds, but 25 to the yellows. Yeah! Yo, here comes the question. It's for the girls. Now, the reason you had those ears on was because you were right old chumps there, you were, you guys. So here comes the question. Chumps tea party. Although we were using strawberry jam and lemon curd there, which famous bear is noted for eating marmalade sandwiches? <laughs> yellows. Paddington. Paddington's right! 25 yeah! points for the yellow. The score now. 32 red, 75 yellows in the lead. Yeah! Last game now, just ahead of the fun cards and the fun house, and Catherine and Stephanie are about to perform a very delicate operation, a tonsillectomy, which, let's hope, is easier done than said. Let's go and play, yeah? yeah! We have arrived. I have to put my little doctor's hat on now, because, uh, I'm the doctor in charge. You probably saw that movie. Now, 
when you have your tonsils out, I believe you have a lot of ice cream. I think I'm right in saying that. Has that happened to you? OK. So I figure that these tonsils, and there are two in each that are really full of gunge and things as well, these tonsils are going to be pulled out one by one, whacked over to the ice cream, straight into the ice cream. Oh, that's kind of nice ice cream. I see what you're talking about here. And then into the relevant jar by lifting off the lid and going inside. Each one inside counts. If it breaks, it doesn't count, OK? It's the one to get the most tonsils in the storage jars. Let's go! Operation it was beautifully done. How are we getting on here? You're right. <laughs> Hello, doctor. I can see you're red because of your little red funhouse men on there. Okay, let's count up. Only ones. That... Look at this. Look at this. Do that again. Look. <laughs> okay. How many have we got? Go on then. We got one, two, three. All right. I'll take your word for it. Now, things like this don't count at all, do that's they? That's right. No. Goodness me. That's a hell of a time. Go on then. Okay. We've got one, two, three. Yeah. It's a draw. 25 times each, restream the ice cream. Yeah! Well, a very messy but nevertheless successful operation. 25 pints apiece. Yeah! This is Fun House at the start of your weekend. Tonsillectomy is a boys' question. So, boys, make your way there and earn 25 points for this. In which country is the TV program Young Doctors set? Yellows? Australia. Australia's right. 25 points for the yellow team. Score now. 57 reds. 125 in the lead. The yellow! OK, it's time for those girls to bring on the carts. The Fun Car Grand Prix, three laps. Fancy a go. It's coming right up! Good. They looked absolutely perfect to me. Here it comes, as I say. It's not the traffic light Grand Prix. There's no traffic lights here. On your way round for your three laps, you'll grab tokens. The green ones are first. They're in the first lap. They're on the top, OK? They are worth 10 points each. On the second lap, you'll be able to grab the white tokens. They're on the bottom. They're worth 25 points each. On the third lap, you can grab either one, pick up as many as you can. The winners gets 25 points for passing that checkered flag first. Who's going first, girls or guys? We are part. OK, guys, wish you lots of luck. All set? Why don't you get your hair cut, Pat? I'll get my hair cut when you get your helmet cut, all right? Let's get to our fun cards. Come on, on the way for the weekend. Are you set? The score stands at red 57, yellow 125. On your marks. Yes, sir. Go!
official winning show. Come on, yellows, hurry up here. What, what were you doing around the front? What was going on there? What happened? Crashed. Crashed. There we are. Honest man, if ever I heard one. 25 points, red team! <laughs> And now we count them up. We see how many mean greenies they got and see how many whitey nighties as well. These are worth 10 a go. 10, 20, 30, 40. Look at you all just dying to see the score. Just you wait, you twins. Terrible twins. Get triplets next series, okay? 25, 50, 75. Total score for those reds, 197. Okay. Yellows, you don't get anything because you crashed. But you do get these. This is where it gets exciting. 10, 20, 30. Give us those whites. 25, 50, total score. 205. You're going into the final. You got it. But nobody goes away empty handed on this show. Stephanie and Michael, congratulations to you. There is your legendary Funhouse camera. You do get one of those each. And you also get. Watch young Mel, he's beautifully <laughs> modelling. Go on, give us another twirl. Give us a twirl. She's got the bum bag and the jacket. Well done, I wish you both a brilliant weekend. All right, thanks for playing. <laughs> now, we've seen the old chequered flag for the race, but that doesn't mean you've won everything yet. You're going into the fun house. You want to know what's in there? Yeah. Gary will tell us if you come and join us. <laughs> right on cue, the balloon tunnel bursts with this stylish calligraphy set. Listen to your favourite sounds with these record tokens from the engine room. Negotiate the net maze where you can fly with a kite and take a close look into the pot of gold to discover this magnificent microscope. Take a trip to the temple to win yourself a fabulous colour TV. Then try a tangle with the python for this terrific electric typewriter. Attempt the amazing Aztec wall to get your feet on a stunning skateboard. Then sample the slalom slide and slip on a pair of these sizzling sunglasses. Get your head out of the snowdrift and pick up a sporty hold -all. Then click that cogwheel for some snap-happy fun with this Funhouse camera. The mystery is revealed at the Funhouse letter, which will whisk you off on a magical tour. Work your way out of the volcano with the help of this scientific calculator. And in the lava flow, this amazing selection of box games. Time for the masher, where you can wake up to the world with this digital travel alarm. Then dribble into the test tube to take a shot at this exciting basketball set. <laughs> So, some brilliant prizes. However, one of them, out of the 15 price tags that looks like this, that being an electric toothbrush, <laughs> contains the secret power prize. What is it, Gary? It's the adventure of a lifetime, conquering the white water of Allier in France. <laughs> That's not bad. That's all the old rapids and stuff like that. That's a good prize, isn't it? We know what it is. Let me just see where it is. Okay, that tells our viewers at home, but doesn't tell you. The only way you'll find out when you've reached the power prize and you grab your tag is by hearing this. <laughs> That's the noise that'll make you jump for joy as you come on down. Now, got two minutes, get your feet on the steps, run through, grab the prize tags, okay? You get three, you get three, you get... Who's going first? I am. Right, what will you be going for then, Titch? Uh, TV, yeah? basketball set. Right. Anything and else? the typewriter. Okay, and maybe the power prize. Yeah. All right. So it's three from you. Come on down, then three from you, Smiley Wiley, and then so on and so forth till you've got all 15 or as many as you can get, OK? So please listen out for that noise. Try and be fast so you can get back to give the other person a chance if you're getting tired, OK? Feet on the steps. On your marks. Get set, weekenders. Go! <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> You're a star, you are. You're out of breath. <laughs> Hi, Tej. How's it going? Fine. Oh, yellow team, that was just brilliant. Congratulations <laughs> to you. Forget all that, but think about these. This is what you've definitely got. I nearly shut myself in. OK, you've got a microscope each. Record tokens each. A little blue patch each. No, no. Oh, the, 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 oh, you've got a calligraphy set each. Brilliant. I thought it said a geography set in disguise. You've got a mystery tour each. Bit of a mystery, that one. The camera. The skateboard. I've never seen so many prizes. Electric typewriter. The colour TV. And the basketball set. <laughs> but the good news is, I heard a cock a doodle do. Let's get Martina to bring on that power prize. I know it's Melanie, really. Come on, Mel. Yeah! To trick the twins because she's going now now you've got it the wrong way round. <laughs> right you stay this way round you stay that way round no cheating this is the big one for the old river reed rushes you'll have to rush to get it right you've only got 10 seconds you can confer so please think about your answer all right there are nine countries in the world which begin with the letter i you've got 10 seconds so please think about it can you name three of them iran iraq and india that's good for me Congratulations to you. I got the yo. Finally got one in my face. I deserved it. Thanks a lot. Congratulations to you, you superstars from Paul. You've done it. You're not in the deep end. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>